today's reflection is from John chapter 6, verse 35. In this passage, we find that Jesus is speaking with people uh, who are looking for a miracle. Jesus has just fed 5,000 people with a couple of loaves and some fish. And those same people and now ate that incredible meal, have come to him looking for more, asking what miracle he'll perform next to prove himself to them. When Jesus says in verse 32 of chapter 6 that God wants to give them bread from heaven that gives life to the whole world, the people speak up quickly and say, give us this bread. And here's Jesus' response. John chapter 6, verse 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. These people following Jesus are just looking for their physical needs, their need for food, to be satisfied by him. Jesus' response shows them that their view of the world, trying to uh, looking for their next meal to satisfy themselves, will only leave them always being hungry again. True satisfaction can only be found in God's generous gift of Jesus, who offered his own body to be broken for us. Jesus giving his life can bring fullness of life to us, meaning that the physical day-to-day needs of this world no longer have to dictate how we live. Living for Jesus can free us from the worries and struggles of living for ourselves, so that we can live generous lives sustained by the bread of life. The great gift of Jesus is the generosity of that gift. As we hold out the truth of Jesus with our words, our prayers and our actions, we want to share with our families and community that Jesus' offer still stands and is still enough. God's love, mercy and grace for our world is an inexhaustible gift. There is always enough grace for the brokenhearted. There is always enough forgiveness for those who feel they cannot be forgiven. Jesus is the bread of life. Simply by trusting him to be our king, we can sustain by his sacrifice, renewed by his grace, and filled with his love, ready to carry that out into the world. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for sending your son to bring us life. May we feed on his body and be transformed by his sacrifice to give our lives in acts of service to those who need you. In Jesus' name. Amen.